Your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We're looking at a couple more, at least one more day of record setting low temperatures. Then we actually rebound pretty quickly. The wind letting up already. It's almost died down, becoming calm tonight. We'll look for the next system to come through with a chance for snow showers, mainly over the eastern half of the area Tuesday night. And then we start to turn warmer as we head into the weekend. A look in Junction City, snow still on some of the roads, but a lot of those tire paths and um, some of the more heavily traveled roads have been cleared a bit better. Uh, we are looking at generally a, a snow covered ground, a clear sky, although not a crystal clear sky. What's actually happening is, well, I guess in one it's kind of not crystal clear. It's full of crystals. There's little ice crystals settling down from the earlier cloud cover that moved through. Uh, that's why we got some of these prolific views of the western sky out to the west. I'll show you some photos of that of some real good optical effects in the sky, but it's also currently keeping the sky looking a little hazy. Five below zero. The wind chill still 16 below in Topeka. We actually never got even to zero today. Came in 46 degrees below average. Set a record low temperature that had held since 1936. We broke that one. But look at the northwestern counties right now, already into the teens below zero, even 10 below at Burlington, eight below at Forbes Field, officially still five below at Billard. But temperatures are going to be kind of in that range where there'll be some variability, but it's going to be cold no matter how you look at it. Wind chills primarily into the teens below zero. The, the wind is not going to be a major issue tonight. Fortunately, it's becoming calm, but that's kind of a good news, bad news setup because with the winds going calm, the storm system exiting out and the sky becoming mostly clear, it's a setup for rapid temperature drop through the remainder of the night. And we're just going to continue to fall until more and more of the areas in the teens below zero. Then our next system is a little weaker. It's going to move in from the Pacific Northwest into the central and southern plains. And I think impact areas to our south and southeast a little bit more. We're clearing out of the clouds. It's been taking a while this evening, but notice second half of the night should be clearer. That's going to allow it to be even colder heading into the morning tomorrow. And then sunny to partly cloudy through most of the day. The clouds start rolling back in tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Chance for some snow over the southeastern half of the area during the night. And then that generally stays to our east and southeast by Wednesday afternoon. And that's the last of that really uh, snowy weather that we've been contending with. But one more incredibly cold night. If we hit these temperatures, that'll be the coldest night since December of 1989. But we're back above zero, not above freezing, but at least we're back into the positives tomorrow. And then we get into near 20 degree weather by Wednesday afternoon. And we'll just keep climbing from there. But tonight it's all dropping down to 17 degrees below zero. Some areas in the 20s below up to the north. 10 for the high tomorrow and a light and variable wind and at least we get some sunshine. We'll see that sunshine then more days than not this week. That chance for some snow Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, 23 on Thursday, possibly above freezing as early as Friday, but up into the 40s this weekend, some rain showers Sunday and look at Monday. High temperature back up to 50 degrees as a warming trend really gets underway by the weekend and early next week. There's a view of the sun pillar as the sun was going down from Pat Brady at Lillis and the snow covered ground from Joy and Scott Francis at Wakefield. Cold night in Marysville as the sun went down with a partly cloudy sky there from Lynn Stowe's. You can see the sun dogs on each side of the sun there, the setting and Manhattan from Adelie Brenner, as well as another beautiful view from Roger Langsbury in Manhattan. And I think underneath that there's some water, but it's way down there from Dennis Richter at Lake Wabunsee. <laughs> yeah.